Today is Sunday, April the 19th, 2020. I am Julie Hankinson, and this is The View Out My Window. Well, in a nationwide poll taken, um, I guess it was yesterday, uh, the news reported that two-thirds of the nation believes that we are opening up our cities too soon, which means that one-third are saying that uh, we're being too cautious and they believe that um, our nation should be going back to normal and we should just suffer the consequences. Um, on one hand, Sweden is currently um, letting everything just remain normal and they are coping, uh, they say, by herd um, immunity. In other words, if a person gets sick, they get sick. If they die, they die. Um, but um, they believe that everybody's eventually going to get sick, so they're just letting things go as normal. Um, well, I, I'm guessing, I'm hoping that they have a better healthcare system than we do. Our healthcare system is based on for-profit, which is why we had all of the ventilators in a national stockpile because hospitals normally don't have a lot of ventilators because they don't have a need for them, so they're not going to put out the funding for them. Um, hospitals make their money off of elective procedures or um, medical care that is emergency care, which is why you have heard about some medical care people actually being laid off because they are not working in the emergency rooms or the ICUs. So there's not a demand for heart transplants right now. Um, if at all possible, people are postponing um, surgeries. People that of course have to have dial dialysis, they're going in, um, but you know, that's because they have to. Um, for most people, they realize that it is in petri dish of, of germs. Uh, and they don't want to get infected. And they also realize that they are not going to receive the same attention that they would have received previously with the majority of the resources focused on um, the COVID-19 virus response. Um, what we are seeing across Europe as they are opening up some of the areas is actually a reinfection rate. Um, they had thought that the infection rates were going down and that they had reached their peaks and now the infection rates are going back up again um, in direct correlation with reopening and uh, relaxing of isolation, uh, shutdown, lockdown rules. So with that knowledge in hand, just realize that if you are going to go back to work or back into public, that you should probably wear a face mask and you should, as much as possible, maintain social distancing. Don't go to a bar partying because there is a very strong likelihood that you will be infected um, and you will become a statistic one way or another. So just that little bit of caution and warning, and that's me as a scientist looking at all the data that's coming down the pike that is available. I am looking at this. I am monitoring it every day. Um, you know, the data coming out is in the United States right now. Um, one fifth 
of the deaths are actually in um, nursing homes and and areas where people are confined and there is a uh, rapid transmission of the disease and people currently have uh, compromised immune systems uh, or they're diabetic or overweight or um, you know they have other underlying health problems but that only accounts for one fifth that's 20 percent that leaves 80 percent of the nation 80 percent of the deaths that are rocking this horrible pandemic that is just killing so many of our people around the world is with healthy and increasingly younger people. And um, this is just, you know, you can't say, oh, it's all old people or it's, um, you know, yes, one fifth is in nursing homes. And yes, there is a statistic showing that for cultural reasons that the black and uh, Hispanic populations are being affected in larger numbers. But again, that is because there is an increased amount of um, cultural pressure for people uh, in both of those groups to live together in tighter um, circumstances or to have multiple generations in their home. So we can't just say, oh, it's because of one person's blood type or because of one person's race. It has a very large um, cultural or living condition bias um, that is actually driving a large portion of the deaths. But then again, that still leaves us with 50% of us who are just wandering around, rushing out to the beaches because we the you know the ban has finally been lifted and they're not wearing masks, they're just tight together like sardines. And I would take a bet that at Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida, there is going to be a spike in cases in one week to two weeks, starting in seven days, directly due to infection from people going to the beach. I cannot think about the idiocy of people at this time just really going to the beach is that much more important than keeping your family safe and you know providing for their future I mean they really want to collect on their um, health insurance or their life insurance benefits um, but then that's to me, I'm one of the two thirds of the nation that believes that we should be cautious and we should make sure that we have massive testing in place before we start gently and slowly reopening the economy. Um, we have the food banks that are working, um, making sure that people have food. I'm, we have moratoriums on rent and on mortgage payments, on student loans um, payments. The government is really putting into place massive amounts of options to enable tools to enable us to stay home. And we need to be cautious and risk adverse because just because you have antibodies in your blood showing that you've been infected previously does not mean that you can't get reinfected. Um, I believe it was just 100 cases yesterday 
where of people becoming reinfected. I know 100 is a very small amount, but still 100 people who got reinfected, there's no immunity buildup here. Um, and we do need to be cautious um, because it's not just our lives that we are putting in jeopardy. It is the lives of all those that we come in contact with. So please be cautious, please be careful. And even if you have to go back to work, please remember to use a face mask and to wash your hands multiple times a day. Just take care of your health and be safe. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Good night.